Alright, quick update on ApeCoin. So for today's video, I'm going to switch it up and I'm not going to be using the Japanese candlesticks, uh, which are these candlesticks right here. Uh, if you wonder why I'm using the Haikanashi candlesticks, if you've never seen these before, basically they characterize uptrends and downtrends much better than traditional Japanese candlesticks. For example, if we look at this massive uptrend, you can see that it was only predicting or telling you to sell uh, after we did get our first red candle coming down here all the way to $12. So on the Hayakanashis, if you traded this, you would have traded this from $8 to $12. That's pretty good. That's like a 50% gain. By the way, when we are trading on Hayakanashi candlesticks, we do not count uh, doji candlesticks. And if you don't know what doji candlesticks are, they're kind of like a spinning top, like a spinning coin, something like this. They've got like these fin bodies, sometimes they're a bit fatter, and they've got a big wick to the upside and a big wick to the downside. So uh, if you want to learn how to use Hayakanashi candlesticks, uh, go check out my educational playlist. I have made a video on how to use them. I won't explain in this video because it will take too much time. So uh, if we look at this on the Hayakanashis, you can see, especially on the four hourly, ApeCoin seems to really respect uh, the growth on the Haikanashis. So you can really see that when we are in an uptrend, all the Haikanashis are green. The second we switch to our first red candle, which isn't a doji candle, uh, it tells us that the downtrend is starting to happen uh, for a short period of time. And then you can see uh, these are two doji candlesticks. This is a doji. Once we got our first green candle right here that closed around the $10, this was predicting this massive, massive uptrend all the way up to here until we got our first red candle at $13.50. So trading ApeCoin based on just the Hayakanashis on the 4 hourly alone seems to do absolute wonders. Uh, you can see this downtrend was characterized by all these red candlesticks. Once again, we avoid these uh, doji candlesticks. And once the, we had our first green candle come in at 12.95, we knew that the uptrend was starting. So uh, why I'm pointing this out, especially on the Hayakanashis, is that we have almost, it looks like we may have almost finished our third retracement. Now, I talked about this in my last video, how ApeCoin seems to be coming down, making higher lows, having a big rally, having a correction, having higher lows, having a big rally, coming down, correction, and then starting to head up again. And you can see that these uptrends are always characterized by the first green Hayakanashi candle coming in on the four hourly. And uh, this has not been confirmed yet because we have only just uh, put in about our first hour's worth of price action on this Hayakanashi candle on the four hourly. But it does seem to me like this candle wants to go to the upside. If we do look at this on the hourly, um, not not too much volume coming in to be indicative that this is the bottom uh, but nonetheless if we do just look at this on the four hourly they do have a very very good track record of just buying whenever the Haikanashis turn green so personally I will be looking at this like I said I, I did start making ApeCoin videos when we were all the way down here at seven dollars and I did personally say I don't think I will be looking to accumulate any more Ape uh, just because I, I don't put too much weight in my portfolio in uh, small term trades for altcoins I do have you know lo long term bags that I like to focus on but uh, from a purely trading perspective what it looks like is buy is whenever you buy a four hourly green flip on the Hayakanashi candles, it does look like we do initiate a big uptrend. Pardon me. <laughs> so uh, if we do come back to the Japanese candlesticks and look at where this could potentially get rallying to. Now, uh, in my opinion, uh, I think we could draw this as a channel, but I, I really wouldn't focus too much on this being channel. I would really be keeping an eye out on this taking out the all-time high next, in my opinion. And I think the all-time high, uh, at least on this exchange, if we do look on Coinbase, you can see the all-time high is up here at $18. I think if we come over to some other exchanges, you can see it's all the way up here at $88. So a uh, hush poppy mix between the two. Uh, but in my opinion, this is the chart of the all-time high that I will be keeping my eyes on. And once we do break that, we can draw from the high to the low, if I can get it. And then we can start talking about extension targets all the way up at 23, 32, 41, and uh, 47. So I'm going to remove this for now, mainly because the target that I have in mind at the moment is this price target up here, around about the $18.17. Now I do plan on taking a small amount of profit on ApeCoin, uh, mainly because, you know, I did get in when this listed. 
and you know this would have been almost 150 percent gain so I, I this isn't necessarily something that i plan on holding in the long term i reckon i will hold a small bag of apecoin in the long term just because i do like what their project is trying to do how they're trying to flesh out a dao and if you don't know what that is it's a decentralized autonomous organization and ape apecoin seems like it's going to do pretty good in the future if i'm honest i mean this is fairly new coin i think this is going to keep on rallying until uh, we have our major local top and i don't think that's in sight so like i said if we do switch over to the Hakanashi candlesticks i do believe that this is the bottoming region i mean if we're looking at this on the channel as well we have every time we do come down to the bottom of this channel which has only been about three times so far uh, we do normally initiate an uptrend after we do put that first green Hakanashi candlestick in so uh, I would be looking at this having a tear at least to the top of this channel now if we extrapolate this a bit try and find the best uh, best points where it goes through so we've got data points here 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 and it was uh, resistance uh, or it was yeah it, it was resistance here once we fell below it but it was support down here once we got above it uh, so nonetheless this is a very nice ascending wedge formation that we've got going on and i do think that we are going to start heading to the top of the channel so if we went up did something like this i could see us coming up to about 1675 obviously that's a rough target because it really depends how long it will take to get to the top of it if we do top out at the top of this then we could potentially see a downtrend until we come back to this wedge formation around about the fifteen dollars uh so there's either two scenarios in my mind that i see planning out for apecoin and they're both bullish number one is we come up we come down here and then eventually we bounce off the bottom of this and then we come up to take out the all-time high at eighteen dollars and seventeen cent uh, which is obviously a pretty decent trade from where we've got now if i take a price target uh, instead of to the channel we've got to the top of the all-time high at least on the coinbase chart and that is a 26 27 percent trade so this is scenario one the more conservative uh price target or the more conservative situation the more bullish uh scenario is where we break out of the top of this and then we start rallying uh over the top of the all-time high either way i do think apecoin is going to start heading up anytime soon uh keep an eye on what's going to be happening uh on the next opening of the next four hourly candle uh, so this might be different depending on where you live in the world for me this is going to take another three hours until we have the next uh, four hourly close so uh, I've got my eyes on this in the next three hours if the Hakanashi candles do turn green then I do think this is going to initiate a massive uptrend so that's all I see for Apecoin and uh, once again if you want to learn more about Hakanashis if you want to learn what they mean how they're calculated uh, and a more in-depth reason of you know why traders use Hakanashi candlesticks uh, click on my portfolio or my uh, on my channel click on playlist find the educational playlist there's only eight videos in there so it won't be too hard to find and I do have a video on how to use Hakanashi candles so uh, best of luck if you are holding Apecoin once again none of this is financial advice it's just my own trading plan and how I plan on navigating these markets and yeah cowboy out peace